Even though it's July, hunters need to be putting together their food plots. The seeds need time to germinate and grow before the cold air moves in. That's why this week we are catching up with Tom out in the field. Welcome back Northern Michigan. Justin's out here with me at the food plot, keeping our six feet for social distancing. I know we've cut things down, Justin, but here we are in late July and we're thinking about food plots. Why is that? Yeah, this is a perfect time for food plots and most of my food plots go in this time of year. I'm a big bow hunter, you know, and it carries it into rifle and second. So we can really do a good job of getting that seed in now, getting the fertility right, you know, time and rains, and it can be a successful food plot still. All right, so we've cut it down. Next step is putting out some food plot. Yeah, yep. So we want to go with the food plot new. Um, that is a product that has dairy dew in it. It has humates from North Dakota in it. You know, it has some other ingredients that um, really help build the soil. You know, really get that engine going. Because typically in food plots, we go out into a middle of an area that maybe is poor soil or Mother Nature left it open for us. That's not entirely true. Maybe she did that because she couldn't grow anything there for a couple hundred years because of the fertility in that soil is so bad. Right. So we want to get something that has organic matter in it, that has dairy dew in it, that has that things that help build that sandy soil or that weaker soil to help germinate that seed and get that plant to take off like it should. All right, so let's get that food plot due right down right now. Yeah, sounds good. Justin, we put down lime last couple years. Do we need to do it this year? Yeah, um, no, we don't need to do it this year. Um, lime will raise your pH, and once our pH gets to that 6.2 to 7, that's neutral. That's where all the nutrient, the nitrogen, the phosphorus, potassium, calcium, sulfur, that all releases. So we're good there, and you can tell that by the outside of it is all ferns still, and right. ferns are a telltale that the pH is low on the outside, but now it's neutral in the middle so where our food plot is, so the ground is neutral now, so we don't have to put it on. It saves us money. Well, Justin, our, our food plot dues down. What's the next step? Yep, so what we did is we put the uh, chisel plow on the back, and those discs will help cut the side up in the front, and the chisel plow on the back will help rip that side apart. All right, and all it is now is just Pull it along? Yep, we're gonna pull it along. Okay. So. So we do have a, a special guest with us today, right? Yeah, so that's my best friend. That's my uh, grandfather. He helps me put all my food plots in. So you'll see him work that machine like it's second nature because this is what we do in the summer. Justin, looking good. I mean, we're all tilled up right now. What's the next step? Yeah, um, the next step now is we're gonna pick the right seed for this soil and kind of for our environment here and what you know our crops around us and people have planned around us and what seed we should put in here to make the deer stay and come to our property. All right, and that's a whole other process. You'll have to check it out next week.